G'day and welcome to the Tech Math channel. What we're going to be having a look at in today's lesson is we're going to be looking at how to subtract with numbers that have zeros on them. Okay, it's going to be it's a very very applicable thing because often you are doing this when you are dealing with money. You know, you pay with a fifty dollar note for something that cost uh, you know thirty five dollars seventy. What change should you get? Okay, let's actually use that example. So something that cost that what did I say thirty five dollars seventy and you pay with a $50 note. How much change should you get? So I think it's a really, really important skill, this one, because it's something you want to be able to work out pretty much instantaneously. And it doesn't happen straight away. It is something that does involve a bit of practice. OK, so look, often you don't necessarily trust that you're going to get the right change. I mean, you, we all know that occasionally you get under change or something like this. So it's a really, really good little skill just to know for certain, without having to, to, to do a bit of calculation, you can do it quickly in your head sort of thing. Okay, so how do I do this when I do this? Well, there's a little trick which I do. I tend to look at these first numbers here, um, and what I do is I usually say something like this, 35 I treat as one number, okay, 50 is not that hard to deal with, 35 and 50, but what I do is I actually count this number up, and I'll show you what I mean, I'll move it up one, so 35 would become 36. 50 take away 36 is 14, so I should be getting $14. $14 what? Well, to get up to a dollar from 70, I'm going to need 30 cents. So, $14.30. That's how. Not that bad, eh? I'll give you another one. So, say we go into a shop and something costs... Uh, We'll say $9.70 and I go in and I pay with a $20 note. How much change should I get? Alright, let's have a quick look. Okay, so I'll round this up to the next number which is a 10. 20 take away 10 is 10. Okay, so I should be getting $10 something. And the amount I need to move this up, you know, 70 is to the next dollar up is 30 cents. So, I should get $10.30 change. Okay? What about one more? One more time. <laughs> okay. What about something a bit bigger this time? Uh, we'll go and we'll, we'll get something that costs... We'll go a bit harder this time. Say $5.45. And we'll pay for that with a $20 note. How much change should we get? Okay. Let's have a look. Okay, so we're going to take that off. All right, so we round this one up to the next number, which is a 6. 20 take away 6 is 14. So we should be getting $14 something. How much do we need to uh, move 45 up to get to a dollar? We need to move up 45, 50, 55 cents. Okay, that's how you do this question. What I'll do right now is I'm going to leave just a couple of these at the very end, just for you to practice if you, if you need to. Anyway, here we go. So here's the questions, and I'm going to start answering them. You might want to pause that, and I'll start answering them. Five, four, three, two, one. So this would go up to be 16. Uh, 20 take away 16 is $4.00. And then we have to go up 70 to get to the next dollar. Okay, $4.70. Okay, this one here, this becomes 24. 50 take away 24 is 26. Then we have to go up 70 to get to the next dollar. Okay, this one here, uh, this goes up to 70. Okay, 100 take away 70 is 30. And then we have to go up 50 to get to the next dollar. This one here, we uh, go up to 43. 100 take away 43 is 50. Seven, and we have to go up 45 cents to get to the next dollar. I hope you did really, really well these. It's a really good skill to have because you don't want to be looking... Uh, you don't want to get shortchanged, okay? We'll see you next time.